I really realized I'm like really not healthy mentally. I had already like think I need to go to counseling or get support, um, but too embarrassed to ask for help. I remember like deep moments of healing where I realized, oh, who I am is already valuable and precious person. So the issues I was having with mentally was, you know, a lot of like uh, my own disconnection from myself and just judging myself. I was an emotionally unstable student that found grounding and connection through brain education. Hi, my name is O Slappy. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, and I am a brain education instructor uh, in Marietta, Georgia. I was actually completing my master's. I had like four months left until I completed my schooling and I was doing an internship in Georgia and I was really anxious, <laughs> like uh, trying to help students. I worked with students with disabilities and deaf students at the time at a deaf school and I was very passionate about what I was doing, um, but like also feeling stuck inside, like I didn't actually know how to do what I wanted to do or couldn't like make the changes in the school system that I was working with or in general like the school system in the world so I was so angry and frustrated and emotional and I felt like I had was losing control of myself and my life at the time physically I was I had a lot of pain in my organs like a severe really bad but I suppressed and hid everything so that I was okay um, but like a severe amount of pain, just like doing like regular things like going to the bathroom or eating. So much like conflict with myself and then also a lot of pain in my body. And then emotionally, I was like uh, uh, all over the place. I felt reckless almost like a really passionate person and very intense person, but no ability to control that like a, just a wild so I like a completely 100% go get it create my life and then the other time you know give up I really realized I'm like really not healthy mentally I had already like think I need to go to counseling or get support um, but too embarrassed to ask for help because I thought I already knew everything I needed to know about health um, so I started taking the training, having a lot of awakenings, not really about like health, but about myself and how I was living and like, how I was almost like manipulating myself and judging and beating myself up into these cycles that were creating the problems that I hated. <laughs> so when I came across just like basic principles about how to manage my energy, how to manage my mind, how to manage my emotions, I was like, whoa. <laughs> Everything started lining up and becoming more simple. And then I started actually teaching the students I was working with some of the very simple techniques. So I remember like deep moments of healing where I realized, oh, who I am is already valuable and precious person. So the issues I was having with mentally was, you know, a lot of like uh, my own disconnection from myself and just judging myself. My favorite brain education principle and practice is body tapping. Uh, I released a lot. I feel like when I do body tapping, I can get out of my head and into my body. <laughs> and that's what I wanted. That's what most people want. So through body tapping, I feel like a, like a breaking up all the layers and all the emotions, everything. What I would say to my old self is, mm, I love you, <laughs> it's okay. You are okay. And I would give myself a hug <laughs> and pat myself on the back uh, because I think that's what I was looking for. Why I felt that I wasn't okay was I didn't love myself. I was an emotionally unstable student that found grounding and connection through brain education. <laughs>